Hello again. If you watched my last video, I showed you how to make this flashing light circuit. Today I'm going to show you how to use this flashing light circuit to make a tremolo effect. We're going to do this using this photoresistor. Basically a photoresistor is a variable resistor that's triggered by light. First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our schematic here and you can see we have from our input to our output it's connected straight through both the positive and the negative. Now bridged across from our positive to our negative we have a 10k potentiometer uh, with one end hooked into the positive. Uh, we've got the wiper of that potentiometer going into the photoresistor. So we're using this 10k potentiometer as a variable resistor uh, to change the resistance between the input here and this photoresistor. And this photoresistor itself is a variable variable resistor. And the other end of the photoresistor hooks into our negative. Basically uh, we're going to have the flashing LED butted up against this photoresistor and that is going to cause a pulsating resistance which is going to cause our volume to go up and down uh, each time it applies uh, full resistance when the light goes out. Then uh, this potentiometer is going to blend in how much of that actually uh, you hear in coming through your output here. So uh, let's move this ground wire out of the way. So we still have it hooked up. We still have our flashing light circuit. I'm just going to plug this potentiometer right here, this 10k potentiometer. I've got my input here. The uh, yellow is the positive, the purple is the negative. I'm just going to plug them in right here. I've got my output. The orange is the positive and the blue is the negative. So I've got my input going straight through my output. Now to bridge across from my input to my output, we're going to start coming from our input, going to the outer pin on the potentiometer. Then we're going to take our photoresistor and we're going to plug it into the wiper of the potentiometer over to our negative of the input output. Now I'm going to take out this green LED and I'm going to replace it with this red LED that I have that's a little bit brighter and it's got a leash here basically I've got the wires hooked up to it. And I'm going to make sure I got my positive plugged into the positive and the negative of my LED into the 10K resistor. Now I've got this flashing light here. I tuck it just just inside this sleeve and I'm going to butt this up against this photoresistor. It's important that you have it right up against it and that it's not that you don't stick it in there beside it. It needs to be uh, right butted up against the front of the photoresistor. Now I've already got my guitar cable hooked up to my guitar, my amp, uh, into these inputs, outputs. Let's check it out. might be a little out of tune here. Well,
should have probably used a little bit longer piece of shrink wrap here. All right, here we go. Now I can turn this down. This is our blend knob, our 10K potentiometer. And you can see that it doesn't affect you don't hear the tremolo come through quite as much until we turn it back up it really cuts into the signal there we can also use our speed control on our flashing light to change the speed of the tremolo Well, that's about it. Uh, next time, uh, we'll try to solder this flashing light circuit together and get some of our wiring started. And uh, we'll probably get the do the soldering of the circuit in one video and do the switch and input wiring in the next in another video after that. And then uh, after that, hopefully, we'll get into uh, painting and lettering. I don't know how much of that I'll be able to do on film, just because. You know, it's harder to do it when you got a camera in front of your face. But, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and we're gonna be build this uh, tremolo pedal to completion. So, if you'll just follow along the next few videos, uh, if you want to try it yourself, it's actually not that hard of a thing to do if you're just willing to put in the work. Again, thanks for watching.